Uh, well, it's quite a, it's quite a big story. This one um, uh, on the thirteenth of January two thousand and two, um, at age of twenty one, I was in a high velocity car crash. Oh, fuck. Um, oh, man, Jesus. Came right, right off the road, up over a car, through a wall into a field. Um, suffered a severe brain injury, um, diffuse brain damage. Uh, into a really, coma. man? Wow, yeah, man. man! Jesus, you wouldn't, you wouldn't know by looking <laughs> no, at me. No, mate, not at all. Um, in, into a coma, and uh, basically, my my folks were told I wouldn't survive the night. Uh, there was some sort of shadow over my brain and stuff like that. But three days later, I woke up, um, and a couple of days after that, I was sent home. This is <laughs> that was a kind of recovery. It's pretty quick, mate. wow, man. Um, but there was in a couple. Of, there was a, a long time when uh, diffuse brain damage was uh, your brain all swells up, so the the messages are still in there. Right, they're just they're just all over the place. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I spent a wee while. Um, I, I came home for the hospital, and I thought it was me that was driving. I didn't know, like I didn't know who I was. I didn't know what day it was. You thought you had been driving the car. I, I had no idea <laughs> initially, I, or the, in, in I, that moment. Yeah, yeah. I, I was a passenger. At right. The time. Uh, but for for days and days after coming home, um, I woke up every morning and like they shaved all half my hair off. I got a big scar. On yeah, yeah, yeah. And every day I had to check teletext to see what day it was. And every so day you weren't even keeping track of the days. Nah, I was all over the place, man. Serious, isn't it? I was all over the place. So s- several weeks went by, um, and uh, the guy who was driving the car at the time he'd done wonders. He got me doing. Um, Crosswords and and darts and all that to get the numbers going and get my brain working. Right, right, right. Man, cool. He bought me a crash helmet and we went snowboarding and all that. Yeah, excellent, like, man. We, just, we, we were we were planning to do a snowboard instructor's course. Right, right. And the idea was like go over to Europe, teach people how to snowboard mm. and play gigs at the weekends. Yeah, just for fun. Definitely, aye. I've heard so, about people doing that. Aye. aye. So so that never happened. Eh? Um, and it, I don't know. About six months later, um, I was really confused, man. I was all over the place. I ended up going to my doctor. And tell me I've got these sore heads and I don't really know what's going on. And it turned out that I was meant to have got loads of uh, information when I was in hospital, and somehow the, the button didn't get pushed. So they sent me home thinking I'd been given all this information about my condition. Oh and right, but you had it right at all. So Is that the, why you were out so, so quick? This eye, so the yeah, so the, yeah. the, the swollen brain, the diffuse brain damage. Um, so this was about six months later, and I'd been, I was. Do Lally, man, I was all over the place, you know. Ah, I bet, um, man, that's so certainly it, you know, like it, music man. I'd listened to for years. I was like, is that new? Is that a live version? Really got your memory like Bus, that? That's I crazy, on these that had gone on every day for years and years. Why is it going down this road? Aye. Who built that? When did that appear? I was all over the place. But Learning everything again, um, it sounds like, do you know what I mean? Aye, so the... I'll, I'll save you the, 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 too much of that nonsense. Ah, it's not. It's up um, to you, mate. Totally, man. It's, it's an interesting it was a, story. It was a big thing. Um, and several months later, I ended up getting the help that I should have got. And all sorts of stuff. I don't know, maybe about a year or two down the line, I was seeing a neuropsychologist who was putting me through all sorts of tests because um, there was an insurance claim coming up and, and the, there was all sorts of like lawyers involved and all that. Um, but she was into Joni Mitchell. Right. This woman Sue Copstick, and she changed my life. Um, she real she made me realise that I was although I dropped out of school young and I was you know I was a shoe salesman. Yeah, you know, yeah, when, yeah. It, when this happened, you know I wasn't going anywhere. Totally, man. I wasn't going to totally. be a millionaire. Or <laughs> um, but I was writing to Neil Young, John Martin, Cat Stevens, stuff like that. She was into Joni Mitchell, and I just sat talking about music with her. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, she, I think she's an old hippie, and um, and she realised that I had a. Well, she made me realise that I had a second chance at life. Right, cool, you know, man, cool. Fair enough. Your life. Sp- I was put on hold at twenty one, and by twenty three, I was kind of in her in her room trying to put myself back on. Yeah, track. man. Yeah. So prime time had disappeared of my life. So I thought, and she's just like, just stop trying to get back to who you were and start building who you're going to be. Ah, totally, man. Totally. You know? That's that's awesome, man. That's awesome. And, uh, honestly, the next day I signed up for a music course, um, performance and promotion at North Glasgow College. I done that um, same course. Uh, Carl, no, way. no way. No way. <laughs> <laughs> no way, Ted McKenna and all them. Moth. Aye, mate, no aye, way, aye. man. Ca- Campbell crazy. Owens and all them. Oh, God. Aye, aye. I went to Greenock after that, but the, the, that year, I done that year, that course aye. to go to Greenock. You know I, I, done, mean? I done a year, I done a year or two there, and then I did it, I did it part time. I still, my, my brain wasn't, um, <clears throat> I, st- I couldn't do the full time courses. I was getting tired there, easy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it takes years to recover from something like that. Um, so I did a couple of years there part time, and then. So, how long was that after there? 
a, a, your accident? Oh, you? I don't know, man. It's kind of hard it's for me hard to play to, something. Aye, totally, man. Four totally. years or something? Right, right, like right. Man, that's or something. Like a, after something serious as that, to be back in college and stuff is crazy. Aye, it's mega. Self, mate, do you know what I mean? But that's, what, that's when I realised like, I've got a chance to do what I could do whatever I wanted. Do I want to go back to being a shoe salesman or do I want to do what I love doing? Totally, mate. And that's totally. what Sue Cops did help me see. You know, she's like, you, you, sh- you should be a musician. Just go and. So was was, was she like it. a doctor or? Aye, she's a, a, she, a neuropsychologist. Right, right. So you were seeing her as part of your part of my treatment, part of your recovery. Aye, aye. Yeah, totally. Yeah, mate. Wow, that's amazing. So that's great. A, an amazing person to come across at a time aye. like that, mate. So amazing. I basically like that. I mean, I, I even wrote. I wrote a bunch of. So I wrote a fistful of songs. I, I wrote a bit of poetry. Uh, you know, music changed my life. It saved my life. Yeah, man. You know, yeah. and I, it was the, the songs were coming through me like lightning bolts from the sky, man. You know. Yeah, it's what it's mad takes. I'm just looking there at my next question. I was going to ask you, and it's how has music helped you? And it's like that <laughs> in all of the ways we've just outlined. Uh, mate. That's it. God, mate. I, I'd like I had a, I had a, I'd, I never had a similar experience like we've been injured or anything like that. But like, I now isn't going anywhere. You know what I mean? I had that kind of hanging in when I lived a life abroad playing music full time. Mm. I had that same kind of like, oh, well, I'm assuming you you went on to have the same realization where it was like, oh, it all makes sense now. Do you know what Aye. I mean? Like, it, it does. It isn't it about making millions off of tickets and pay to play gigs in Glasgow? Yeah. It's it's about making enough that you don't have to go to another job and that's Aye, can you be your need, main job. You, you know, don't need to work for the man. Mate, yeah. Exactly, mate. exactly, man. And that's and that's brilliant no, that to show it. that woman helped you realize that, mate, and helped you and come back from. Um, your injuries, yeah, man. It's like that's, God, that's I mean, amazing, man. Really, it just it changed my my whole life. Changed there, you know. Um, so, I, in the first week of that course, I learned a wee bit about how to put a gig together, uh, how to set up a sound system, how to how to promote an event. And in in the first week of that course, I started the Southside sessions. Right. Oh, really? Aye. That um, that that soon, so man. Wow. That's, that was in two thousand. And the Southside sessions you're still doing. I'm still, still doing, doing now, that 16, 16 and a half years later, wow, I'm still man. running the Southside <laughs> Sessions. <laughs> That's amazing, man. So, yeah, I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy about that. Uh, but I'm just, I've just been winging it ever since, you know. Totally, mate. Totally. Following my heart, doing what, doing what feels right, you know. Um, you, I think we think about it as winging it as well, but like the, the stepping off the cliff into like the, 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 the leap of faith that you've got to take. Aye, aye. That's the winging it. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's like the the we learn these stuff and how, and God, when I think about it now, that's probably where I've learned all the same stuff about putting on gigs and performing, aye, aye. setting up PA yeah, systems yeah. and uh, like off of North Glasgow College, probably. <laughs> do you know what I mean? But aye, aye. Aye, so oh, that's that's really great, mate. Um, so this is it. Kind of leads us on again to the next question. Like what I was going to say was, how have you been able to maintain a career in music? But the, for this story that you're telling us here, we've, we've saw quite clearly you, uh, when you first performed, how it started to help you and how you've able, been able to maintain. So if you can tell mm-hmm. us a bit more about like your week to week gigs and stuff, like, uh, how, do you, how have you been able to make well, a job? Uh, maintaining, I uh, making it a job. Um, it's just like anything you've got to do an apprenticeship. Um, yeah, man, you, totally. you, you're either you're either going to um, you're either going to get roped into a band and somebody else is organising where you're playing, what you're doing, how you're getting there, or you're going to start it up yourself. Um, and I got I got uh, in with a bunch of guys. Uh, Dokin McMillan um, was the main guy behind it. The Free Candy Sessions in Glasgow, and I got in with them. I played a couple of gigs for them, and they were needing a they were needing a hand uh, hosting a couple of events. And before you know it, I'd I'd an offer of an open mic um, somewhere, can't remember where, man, and I, I I had to get a sound system, so I borrowed a bit of money. I think I borrowed money, I can't mean who I borrowed money off of, one of my brothers or something, mm-hmm. I borrowed money off them to buy a speaker system. Right, right. Uh, which I've still got. You know, <laughs> a, pair, a pair of Mackies and a, and a, the first a, PA, a PA brilliant. 10. <laughs> I've still got it. I've, but I've, I've got a huge one now. It's, it's the same stuff, but it's all the bigger stuff. Um, and, you know, after that open mic ran a few weeks, I'd paid that money back, aye. and I realised, well, what, what, this is this is doable. Aye, it's, there's more to it than just like <coughs> this is, aye, this this this, totally, can, this, this this can work. So making making a wee bit of money. I mean, for years I was working uh, in a place called Lennon, 1906, which is still putting music on. That was like the local. That was like the pub across the road from where I lived right, in right. Shawlands. And I I just I was sick of coming home in the pissing rain. On, with my guitar on my shoulder on my bike mm. for the West End <laughs> in the Merchant City in the city centre I was so you start I was asking sick close it. by you know what I mean so I just every day he's a gig aye a gig. <laughs> mate honestly the, the the pub owners about here I'll be hate they'll be whenever, every time they get an email from me or a phone call they must be like ah, oh, aye, here aye. we go again do you aye. know what I mean? <laughs> 
So a long, a long time. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm telling you no lies, man. A long time I scraping by, you know, pinching stuff out of supermarkets and getting by on fucking totally beans and mate. toast. Um, but built up a reputation for myself, uh, being a being a fairly straight up guy and and putting gigs on, always making sure it's fun. The, the whole idea of it was to be fun. I didn't really care about the money. Totally. Um, I just wanted to make sure I was having fun. And all, yeah, as you know, as, if an entertainer's on stage having a lot of fun, the the audience picks up on that. Totally, you can feel it. You can feel it. I think that's how it's happened. But like honestly, seven year, 